hey guys welcome to Android Guider. so in this video we are going to talk briefly about how you can set up the stocks cm13 launcher trebuchet and uh, how you can configure its settings to suit you so um you know the first options are the home screen settings so if you want to show or hide the search bar that's completely up to you and uh, you know if you want to show the search bar uh, then you must have flashed g apps or uh, you know must have the google application to do that um but at the moment i am uh, using a room without the g apps as you can see so you know that uh, won't be the case in here but uh, definitely if you have flashed g apps and uh, or have the google app then you can enable this option um then next up we have the icon labels so icon labels are nothing but uh, you know the these are the names of the apps so as you can see that uh, in here we have the it uh, uh, you know you can see the that under the themes icon the uh, name of the app is themes and similarly the screen recorder app um, but if i just turn off the icon labels you know the names disappear so the, uh, these are what icon labels are and uh, similarly then it's up to you if you want to enable or disable them then we have the scroll wallpaper so you know when i just uh, swipe uh, across to the next screen you can see that the <coughs> the wallpaper is also uh, changing you know this is what we call a scrolling wallpaper as um but if i just uh, turn off that option then uh, as you can see that the wallpaper does not change and it remains stagnant as it was on the previous screen then next up we have the grid size and this is comfortable cozy condensed or you can even have a custom layout so um this is the comfortable one you know this is the stock layout and this is the comfortable layout this is the comfortable grid size now we go to the cozy grid size so as you can see that the screen shrinks up a bit um you know all the widgets and the icon and the various app icons that are present there on the home screen they shrink up and uh, the screen looks a bit denser and uh, when i select the condensed one the widgets and the icons for the shrink up so you know using this feature you can uh, accommodate more icons on your home screen so that's a plus if you want to and uh, even uh, you know if you want to adjust the uh, uh, have a custom style layout then you can do that so currently as you can see that <clears throat> in the comfortable one it's a 4 by 4 option in the cozy one it's a 5 by 5 option in the condensed one it is a 6 by 6 option so if you want to have a 7 by 7 one 8 by 8 one you know the 7 by 7 one is the max which you can have <clears throat> and if you want to see that you know it further shrinks up so that's what a 7 by 7 is and i will just go back to the comfortable one so now that's completely up to you and the allow it rotation of the home screen that's pretty basic i believe so when the device is rotated from portrait to landscape or vice versa the home screen would be rotated along that next up we have the app drawer settings so uh, similar is the case here you know these are the icon labels are nothing but the names of the apps which are highlighted right below the its icon so at the moment they were showing up when i just turn off the icon labels you can't see any one of them um then then we have the draw style the section one and the compact one so this is the section one so as you can see that in the section one the apps have been grouped according to their alphabetical letters so you know you can just uh, quickly it's uh, i believe the section layouts is a bit easier you know if you want to find your favorite app now um, than the compact layout um otherwise in the compact layout you know the uh, the apps are not grouped but you know they are just sorted in uh, in in their according to their alphabetical letters but uh, i personally i prefer the section one because you know it makes uh, searching for your app a tad easier but that's completely again that's completely up to you and then we have the app drawer color you know this is nothing but the app drawer background so currently as you can see that we have a translucent background and this is the dark tinge uh, you know so that's why it's known as the dark color but if you choose the light one then uh, we'll get a light colored background you know this is the same color which you might have seen in the google um then we have the fast scroller you know fast scroller you know it allows you to um quickly scroll to the end of the apps page so currently as you can see that if i want to scroll up or down you know we have to uh you know there is no scroller that is appearing on the right edge of the screen through which you know i can just quickly scroll on uh, up and down quickly um but the moment i enable fast scroller 
and choose that as vertical then you know there you can see that this is the fast crawler which I'm talking about so we get a uh, you know this uh, turquoise colored scroller in through which we can quickly move and on and off you know quickly move through our in between uh, through our favorite apps um, then uh, it can be horizontal and vertical that's uh, you know your wish but this the uh, horizontal fast crawler so the one which you wish to have that's completely up to you then if you want to show the search bar in the app drawer or not so at the moment we you can see that this is the search bar which we have in the app drawer and uh, um, the moment I just turn that off it disappears so if you want to have the app drawer uh, you know the uh, search bar in the app drawer then that's also completely up to you then lastly we have the larger icons so you know they just uh, make the icon size a bit larger as you can see in the app drawer but again if you want to use that feature um, use it but maybe you know if you if uh, if your uh, old parents are using the using a using this device which has the stock cm13 launcher trebuchet then definitely i would recommend you to enable this option um then uh, in the end we have the protected apps <clears throat> so you know you can just uh, um maybe just i will quickly draw z and uh, you know using this you can just quickly lock any apps behind the say if i want to lock audio fx and browser then uh, these apps will get locked behind the uh, you know pattern lock and uh, um, maybe you know they get disappear too okay so we'll have a look at the protected apps we draw z and if you want to go through them then you can go through them so you know they uh, this kind of way you know hides certain apps from your app drawer so so if you want to hide any apps and put them behind a lock and key then uh, you can definitely use the protected apps option so that's what it's all about um so you know that's what all i have got for you in this video um and uh, you know scrolling through wallpaper it's pretty easy if you want to you know just select any wallpaper that's also um you know very easy you can just simply select any wallpaper and just click on set wallpaper and it will set that and then uh, selecting any widgets you know it's also really very easy you just need to pull up the widget you want to use and drag it to the home screen where you want to place it and just drop it there and if you want to adjust its size then you can you know use these drag and drop features so that's pretty basic i believe so that's all what i have got for you guys in this video so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one